All right, Game Changers, welcome back to another video here today. Now, guys, I have tried, I have tried to enjoy this game, but honestly, the most enjoyment I've been getting so far is this new resurgence map called Ashika Island. Okay, this is the most fun, the only fun thing about Modern Warfare 2. And I know I'm not wrong. I know for those of you guys who are still playing this game, we're looking forward to this. And guess what? It's not even multiplayer. It's not your 6v6 multiplayer. What made Call of Duty so great in the first place. I really miss that. I, I really wholeheartedly do. Because that, back in the day, was amazing. That's what made Call of Duty so popular back in the day. Nowadays, Call of Duty is not as popular. Sure, it'll still get the most sales. It'll still be on the top of the leaderboard. That doesn't mean that necessarily it's a fun thing. People get it because they're programmed to get this game because they've been doing it for years. It doesn't mean that this game is good by any means. There are so many better games than Call of Duty now. And the new game that's gonna be coming out, X Defiant, is holding a lot of potential because I got to play that pre-alpha build and wow, yeah, it's just a pre-alpha build and it was already better than Modern Warfare 2. Can you believe that? Already, a pre-alpha build has more potential than a Call of Duty game or a series that has been coming out year after year after year for years. That is really sad. And also, one of the things that I want to commend Mark for, who was at Infinity Ward, and I think he worked on Modern Warfare 3, I think at Infinity Ward for about 10 years or so, he has a level of communication that the Call of Duty developers and the franchise as a whole has lacked. On Twitter, Mark Rubin has been consistently going back and forth, getting feedback, getting feedback, positive criticism, and critique about the game in order to make it the best possible game that he can. And he knows Call of Duty, and that's why he wants to make this game, X Defiant, which will be coming out. I don't know exactly when it's gonna be coming out, but when it does, he wants it to thrive. He wants to have a community where people, especially the Call of Duty community, come and actually enjoy that Call of Duty experience that they once had back in the day no skill-based matchmaking, he actually listens to the community. I mean, why do we have skill-based matchmaking in Call of Duty, especially in pubs? Leave it for rank play, I get it. Everybody gets it for ranked play. It should remain there, but why is it even in quick play? You don't get rewarded for sweating. I remember back in the day, whether we had skill-based matchmaking or not, or maybe it was toned down where we didn't even find it existent, it was a lot more casual, and that's what made that shooter so good. It's what made Call of Duty so good. It's because it was a casual arcade shooter. It was easy, it was fun. Some matches you got, you were paired up with easy people or noobs, and others, you were stomped out. So it was, it was a mixed lobby every time but it was fun and you kept your lobby that you were in you didn't break up um, you didn't have to have long search times it would just quickly load up those were the days where call of duty was good now what it's turned into is a shame it's not the exact same thing and i know call of duty players constantly buy the game year after year after year and the reason for that is not only are they programmed to do so, they are chasing something that they will never get again. <laughs> They're chasing that high from previous Call of Duties that we just won't get in the modern day. We, we just won't get it. We, we can't get that same Call of Duty experience ever again because they've moved on from that. Now the cash cow and the more focus that these developers have is on Warzone. Battle Royale, DMZ, and do you notice how many maps they put in this game? Literally almost none. <laughs> we get the bare minimum maps. And then they've spread out the player base with all of these different modes that it just, I don't know, it just makes no sense to me. I don't know what Call of Duty is doing. But yeah, it's pretty obvious that this is not the same Call of Duty that we knew and loved. And it's part of the reason why I haven't been as active uploading these videos because there's no love over here, honestly. The most fun, again, like I said before, is the Battle Royale, this Ashika Island resurgence, coming back, 
killing people and respawning even if you die like th this is actually fun <laughs> more than regular warzone to be honest and even regular warzone is proving to be more fun than the multiplayer which you've paid for what happened to our 6v6 experience i'm a call of duty og i'm a veteran been playing since black ops 1. <laughs> i know there's people who have been playing even before me they missed that experience call of duty what the hell is even happening with you guys I don't know man, <laughs> just really sad. But anyways, let me know what you guys think down in the comment section below. If you guys enjoyed today's video, make sure you guys hit that like button. If you guys are new to the channel, make sure you guys hit that subscribe button. And don't forget to hit the bell to be notified every single time I upload a video. Now with that being said, this is GCP signing off. Yeah, well. Wait, where does it show you the time?